ready, my king. Tell me, Danakis, have you ever gone fishing with your son? No, never. A soldier's life is all I've had the honor to know. <laughs> I would have liked to have gone fishing with my son. Spartans! Every breath that you have taken has led you to this moment. Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear, all of it has led to where you stand right now. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! What say you, Spartans? For our sons! For our daughters! For Sparta! I'll break 
exact is your head? We are betrayed, my king. Xerxes knows of the path behind the mountain. They are coming. <laughs> By dawn, you will be completely surrounded. We are Spartans. When are we not? Spartans. That word will mean nothing. When Xerxes wipes your bloodline from the face of you. Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Finally. Wow, this is big, Layla. Did you really think it's the spear? This is the one. The book was almost right on top of it. I've never been so lucky in my life. Okay, let's start her up. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be... Just started, Victoria. You're the boss, boss. I'll prep it for you. Okay, so worth noting, I've made some changes since we're last in here. <laughs> There's no keeping up with the tech industry these days. I can crank up the simulation to maximum sensory synchronization if you're up for it. Full speed ahead. I want to see everything this baby's got. Go big or go home. That's what I always say. Let me know if it's too intense for you. I can always change the settings later. This bit will let me know how much information will be fed to you during your time in the Animus. Give me as much information as you got. There's no way I'm going in there without some guidance. Glad to help. You can always change your mind later. Listen, Layla, before you go off... If this book is right, this fear, this story... It will change everything. You're putting a lot of faith in a fairly unreliable source. Historian or not, this guy wrote about magical objects and the will of the gods. He's not Homer. Herodotus was the first recorded historian, so there's a lot more truth in that text than you think. I mean, what better way is there of finding Isu artifacts than by trusting in the guy who claimed to meet an actual descendant? I know, but... I need you to trust me. You could be right. This spear, this book, it could all be crap. But something tells me it isn't, and I'm certainly not going to let Abstergo find out first. You're right. We haven't got much to lose anyway. There's just one small problem. What is it? This manuscript is in rough condition, to say the least. The DNA found on the spear has identified two different individuals. You're going to have to pick which strand of DNA to pursue. The choice is yours. 
He will lead us down the right path, I'm sure. All right, boss. We're finally good to go. 431 BCE, here we come. To start the Peloponnesian War. Good luck in there. No pressure or anything, but we're all depending on you. Abstergo isn't going to win this time. If what the book says is true and we do actually find the artifact, the assassins will finally have a chance to rise again. You can do it! Oh, and Victoria? Read the book. It holds the secrets I won't be able to find on my own when I'm in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Get down here! Cyclops got a message for you. <clears throat> Tell your boss he can stick it. That's for last week! <clears throat> Malaka! The Cyclops said you like to act tough, so act tough! Get a little closer and I will. You should not mind. The Cyclops always collects his debts. You have a lesson to learn. If the Cyclops wants to teach you, tell him to come here himself. Never mess with the Cyclops! Last week? <laughs> this shit happens every week. <sighs> I can't keep doing this. <whistles> nah. Thanks for the warning. Ah. <sighs> What happened to you? It's nothing, Phoebe. All taken care of now. The Cyclops again, huh? Hasn't he learned his lesson yet? Apparently not. Of course. Help yourself. You hungry too, Icarus? <laughs> Do you think Zeus will bless me with an ego like he blessed you, Alexios? Maybe you could ask him for me. Phoebe! <sighs> We've been over this. I know, I know. He's just an eagle. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. Marcos is looking for you. <sighs> what does that weasel want now? Don't know. He wants you to meet him at his new house. On his vineyard. Wait, what? A vineyard? Malaka! It's on the road to Sami. He says wine will make him rich. Since when has he had the vineyard? Yesterday, I think. So, Marcos, who owes me drag me, is buying vineyards. With what money? I don't know. 
Where can I find Marcus's new beautiful estate? You know the statue of Zeus on Mount Ainos? It's south of that. Well, I guess I owe Marcus a little visit. Thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> I'll go tell Marcos you're coming. My head! Fun's over. Tell that one-eyed freak, if he sends you here again, I'm going to cut his other eye out and feed it to my bird. I'll see Marcos. As soon as I'm dressed. I'll have to go up top to get dressed. Phoebe slept here again. Poor kid. No place to call home. Let's get this on. Marcos knew this would serve young Alexios well. Can't imagine fighting the Cyclops' thugs with it now. Oh, that smells lovely. Probably time I emptied it.
I should probably not climb on this. Ah! 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 Ah!
There you are. Let's see what you've gotten yourself into this time, Marcos. Boss, I, I keep telling you, you, you can't do that. Why? It's my farm. I can plant what I want. The grapes will die here. All of them. You have to forget what you know about the past, my friend. Together, we will revolutionize winemaking. Believe me, you will look back on this day and... Alexios, thank the gods! Phoebe found you in time. I can still hear you! I was worried sick. The Cyclops sent his scum to find you. I think they mean you harm. I wish you would have told me that before they hit me. But that's besides the point. You bought a vineyard, Marcos? A vineyard? Why not? I like wine, you like wine, everybody likes wine. Everybody buys wine. Why not from me? Because you don't know how to grow grapes or make wine. I'm a fast learner. You grow grapes on the vine, then you get some wine. Oh, it's that simple, is it? You know me better than to think I don't have a plan. Marcos always has a plan. All right, then do you have the money you owe me? Do I have the money I owe you? Uh, of course, of course. Well, no, not at the moment. Then, get it. Instantly, my friend, instantly. But uh, maybe you should do that. There is a merchant in Sami. I'm not very good at these things, as you know. You want me to collect my own debt? It's just waiting for you and Sami, my friend. Who's the merchant? Zuris. You know Zuris. He's very nice. Zuris! How stupid can you get? Stop giving him money! He always pays me back. After I threaten him? Exactly! Everybody benefits. Zuris gets his money, I get my interest, and you have work. Kefalonia is wonderful, is it not? Where can I find Zuris? In a shop in Sami, overlooking the docks. You know this, Alexios. Will he be there? You mistake me for the Pythia. I couldn't possibly know. How do you want to handle this one? Not like you handled that olive oil business. That was... Uh, that was too much. <laughs> I got the money. And now we'll never get any more from him. If you kill them all, nobody benefits. Threatening them and maybe more. Breaking things, certainly. Steal the money if you have to. But don't rob me of my customers. Unless you can't avoid it. These things happen. He'd better have my money, Marcos. I'd hate to have to sell our vineyard. Of course he will. Oh, after there's another matter I want to discuss with you. After. Fine, but I'm taking a horse. It's too hot and too long a walk to go on foot. But... Think of it as interest, Marcos. Everybody benefits. Of course, my friend. You shall have your pick. me about this one. The Skiros. You have an eye for sturdy stock, my friend. That horse can cling to mountain passes like a goat. The one in the middle. Tell me about it. Ah, you have picked a beauty, my friend. That horse is from Thessalonia, bred for its courage. I like the look of the one on the right. Ah, the Macedonian. These are bred for battle. A true warrior's horse. I've made my choice. Which one will it be? The one on the left. Ah, uh, a uh, uh, fine choice. 
But this particular breed has a few quirks that you might not be aware of. I wouldn't want you to take an unworthy horse. This is the one I want. Are you sure? Because... I'm sure, Marcos. Everybody benefits, especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. Phobos? Remember, meet me at the temple in Sami when you have uh, your money from Duris. Ah, Efterpi. There's plenty of wine left to buy. Don't fret. Not now, you fool. Phoebe has been taken. By who? Thugs of the Cyclops. Who else? Snatched her right off the main road. Tell me where they went. In the direction of Itimena Beach. The beach? Can she swim? I'll get her. Yes, go. But don't forget about dear Duris, Alexios. Let's move! Come on. There they are. I'll sneak up on the Malakas. Let me go! Shut it! <laughs> 
or I'll tighten those ropes. She'll make good ransom drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. This tall grass will keep me hidden. Just let the rest of those malakas get away. Marcos is going to be next. Uh. Time to get Phoebe out of here. Alexios, I'm here! Untie me! Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just... be careful. You're alone now, since... Since my parents died? I'm okay! I've got you, and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? <coughs> You'll have to be stronger than that! <laughs> Again! Up! Yes, Pater. Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready or stop? Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me! Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Tonight, we are having baby Cassandra! <laughs> and what a feast she will be! No, not her! Take me instead, I'm tasty! Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Yeah. Lay her in bed. Yes, Pater. Alexis. You are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos, the mercenary. Oh, am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Feast? That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that.
Let's go. Ella. Off we go now. <laughs> Sami, Duris will be at his shop. Hello, Thuris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? Uh, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. Double? That's robbery. <laughs> That's what I told Marcos. You know him. He's extreme. If you pay him, this will all be over with. You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. You're right about that. Forget the drag me. Marcos and I need to have a talk. You're letting me go? Then at least take this sword. Nothing special, but it's better than that rusty one you've got. With the Cyclops involved, I'll need it. You better set Marcos straight or you're both dead. Got a job to do, Alexios? You're running out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good. 
Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Alexios, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. It'll take a lot of work. And even then I'm not sure. We have no option but to try. Then you'd better be willing to help. I won't do all the dirty work. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mystheos with a hovel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Stalking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can. Why, I was just filling my friend Alexios in on the details. He already has a plan to deal with these bandits. I don't know what you're talking about. Of all the fucking phonies, Marcos! Oh, he's just playing. It's a little game we have. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today! A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Alexios, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, You'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These bows will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? Wars brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you were secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. 
Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies! Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marco sure is lucky he's got you as a scapegoat. Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. Your moaning won't get the job done any faster. I'll kill the bandits and get your fucking wood back. I, I, I know you will. Take your time finding them. I trust you. All right, I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my wood. Come on. Here's where the ambush happened. I should look around. That's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. The cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. Shot in the back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. to sneak up on them.
Don't lose your edge. Yes, yes, don't worry. Better take some lumber back as proof. That old bag won't just take my word for it. Ah, it's Marco's assistant, bringing me the wood I need, I hope. Assistant? I don't think so. I... I meant Marco's muscle. How stupid of me. This will tide you over until the rest of the wood arrives in town. By the gods! You sure you work with Marco's? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos.
I don't want to be spotted here. Come on! Mighty Kefalus, I entreat you, send us a champion, someone worthy of your mighty spear. Help your priestess in her hour of need. I'm the only one here, but maybe I can help you. <gasps> oh, Alexius, you startled me. Why are you looking for a champion? I need someone worthy to win the Spear of Kefalus. I've been deciphering some of the sanctuary stone carvings. They say the spear was hidden in the caves beneath Kefalonia when the temple was built. You could get it for me, couldn't you? I can give you a reward. If the spear is in the caves, I'll find it. 
Well, maybe you were sent by Kefalus. Kefalus had a spear? Alexios, surely you've heard this story since you were a child. I didn't have much time for stories. Well, perhaps you didn't. But you know Kefalus founded Kefalonia and started the line of Odysseus. His spear was a gift from the gods. It was said never to miss its target. He must have hidden it in the caves after killing his wife with it. He threw a spear that wouldn't miss at his wife? He was hunting and heard her in the bushes. He thought she was a deer. It's a sad story. Sounds dangerous. Well, only if you throw it at someone. Why do you need a spear? Not thinking of becoming a soldier, are you? Of course not. But think how many people will come to the shrine if we have the Spear of Kefalus. With their donations, I could do so many things. Repair the sanctuary, feed the hungry families in Sami. So where is this spear? Apparently, it's hidden deep in the caves beneath Kefalonia. There's an entrance north of here. Maybe you can try that way first. That's not much to go on. You have so little faith in the gods. If Kefalus means for us to have the spear, you will find it. I'll see what I can find. Oh, thank you. I'll prepare a spot in the sanctuary. Try to stay out of sight.
καλούμεσαι, μάκαρ. Αλέξιος, have you come back to talk about the spear? I have. Oh, good. Tell me, did you find it? Consider it a donation to the temple. What? No reward? Oh, Alexius, I'm in your debt. If ever there's a way my temple can help you, or anyone, send them here. I will remember. <laughs> Sammy, I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This place never changes. I should have known it was you who'd ask for the furs, Ilos. And I should have known it was you to get them for me. Alexios is always on the job. Don't tell Marcos. He'll get jealous. I posted publicly to give the others a chance, but you're always so keen. What are the pelts for this time? The Athenians want armor for the war. Good protection for them. Good drachmi for me. Here they are, all accounted for. In record time, too. Take your pay, it's well earned. Stay out of trouble, Ilos. You should take your own advice.
You don't look so good. I angered them, I think. The gods. It's possible. I hear they can be vengeful. I used to worship Hermes at the Drogorati cave. There are gods there too, you know. In the cave? They grant wishes if you bring them tribute. So everyone makes an offering and asks for something in return. Ah, no wishes of mine granted though. I'm running out of money and tribute. I'm poor myself, you know. I did something wrong. You know Hermes. He can be a trickster. Oh, but there are many gods in this cave. All asking for different things. Go hear them yourself. You'll get my last tribute if you do. I need to know if they're real. All right, don't worry. I'll go. Oh, thank you. Remember, be careful where you step, Mystios. You'll be walking on holy ground. We'll see about that. Someone dropped offerings here. Looks like they were trying to carry them away behind the statue. There's a draft here. A crack in the wall. Better stay hidden. all along. People should have known something was off. And here's all their loot. I can offer you is devotion, but I need your help. I'm poor, 
I have four hungry children and nothing else. I weave baskets for the market, but my cart is ruined. How can I repair it? Or sell my wares without it? Without you? I'm listening, child of Hermes. Oh, mighty God, I beg you, help me. Your prayer is heard. You will find riches at your door sooner than you expect. I knew you'd listen. My every sunrise and sunset is yours. Everything beneath my humble roof in Sami is devoted to you. Yes. Now, go home and wait for fate to intervene. I will, great God, I will. Well, if money is what she needs, the bandit's stolen loot will do just fine. No gods in the caves, only bandits stealing people's hopes and drag me. <gasps> I knew it! Thieves! At least you know you won't face Zeus's wrath. Maybe he'll take pity on you. I hope Zeus brings his wrath on those bandits. Don't worry, I brought mine. That should be good enough. Just like she said, the cart looks pretty worse for wear. Looks like these new baskets were off to market, until the cart broke. This should help. Better them than the bandits. How'd it go with Marcos? How it always goes. I didn't get my money, and I'm running another errand for him. Why do you let them boss you around? I owe him a debt from the past. Oh, did you borrow Vrachmi? Not that kind of debt. Few people would take in a runaway they caught thieving. I was just a kid. Huh. 
I'm just a kid and I've done pretty good for myself. What do you want, Phoebe? You know Kausos? The town on the other side of the island. Why? People there are sick. And my friend Kina is too. There is a blood fever. They say it's a curse and they need help from the gods. I told you, I'm not a god. But Icaros... ...is a bird. That doesn't mean you can't help. Ah, oh, all right. I'll look into it. By the gods, what's happened here? If the gods won't help you, this sickness must be destroyed by our hands. We have no choice. Help us! He won't let us go. What's going on? Kausos was consumed by plague. We couldn't keep up with the bodies. It was spreading. We had to intervene. They killed our brothers, our neighbors. We survived the massacre, but he'll kill us now. The gods have abandoned us. The sick must join the dead if we are to save the living. You burned the whole village? Many knights were lost praying. We had to take action. To scorch the blood fever out of Gaussos. Is there no hope for a cure? Nothing has worked. Sacrifice. Prayers. Healers won't come near us. Soldiers won't let us leave. The gods won't answer our prayers. But I don't know anything about the plague. There is nothing you can do. No! If you intervene, I will be forced to defend the gods' wills. Save us from him! Have pity! We aren't even that sick! We'll get better! Nobody gets better! This is the only way all of Kefalonia will save itself from extermination! Please! We have children! Think of them! Don't regret stopping here, Mistios. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be involved in this. We don't have to die. How many others will die if I free you? You have blood on your hands. You've acted on the gods' behalf. They'll bless you for this. You... you didn't save them? What about Kina? She's my friend. It's not that simple. You don't understand. How do you know? I know that you didn't help anyone. There was no right decision to make. Nobody wins. I hope you're right. Sometimes good people die, Phoebe. No matter how much we don't like it. I know. I just wish it wasn't true.
Mistios, fresh vegetables for your journey. The juiciest in Kefalonia. I'm not really in the market for vegetables. No one is. Our stock is practically decomposing. We're trying to make enough rachmi to get out of Kefalonia. It's about time we moved on. I know what you mean. Wait. Creosa. You think he could help us? I think he could. You'll have to tell me what it is first. Are you scared of sharks, Mistios? I'm not scared of anything. That makes one of us. A very hungry one swims in our way of leaving Kefalonia. A shark? He guards a precious necklace. We get it, sell it and leave Kefalonia. The old bandit who found it first buried the necklace on the shore, near a temple. And the fool didn't think. Water rises. Now the necklace may as well belong to the Sark. Vegetable drachme is all right, but necklace drachme is best. I know what it's like to want to leave Kefalonia. Who wouldn't? We have nothing here. As many vegetables as we please, but no hope. It's buried in a chest. If you get it for us, we'll take what we need to get out, and you can keep the rest. All right, I'll kill your shark. You'll skewer him. You'll find him deep in the ruins of Grani down south. Buried treasure usually has a story. <laughs> the necklace was said to belong to Procris. You know, the wife of Kefalus. On the eve of their wedding, he gave it to her as a promise of fidelity. Well, we know how that turned out. <laughs> Typical. At least he returned to Procris in time for her death. Where on the island are these ruins? You know the sunken islet of Zeus? Find that, and you'll find the ruins. To the shark's temple I go. I'll never look at another vessel again after this. Time for a ride! Ella! Necklace is down there.
I'm here for your bounty, Malaka! Time to hunt by night. That shark put up a good fight. He must have liked it. We can finally leave. No more vegetables. <sighs> we'll have a new life. One far from our past. I know what that's like. Good luck. <laughs>
far and not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of drag me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. <sighs> of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his rachmi, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still, or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never seen it. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There you will find his lair. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Alexios. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. Now to find the eye. If it's as valuable as Marcos says, it will be hidden. Some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view.
You know how many of his guards were there? All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. The Cyclops is going to kill us, Marcos. It's as simple as that. And there's nothing fun about it. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye. But don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Here, Marcos. Uh, wait! I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops. And he brought friends. He's back. Ugh. I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! The eastern coast. Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house. By a small forest, south of Sami. So, if these visitors aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? All I know is Kefalonia will be the last place they'll ever see. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed.
I should try to stay out of sight. By Zeus, the Cyclops doesn't mess around.
Better stay hidden. The abandoned house and the people. someone else to the field to work. I don't suppose you know how to get this stain out. There'll be more blood if you step closer. Perhaps. But then you won't hear my proposition, Mistyus. A clean slaughter. Very good work. Not much sympathy for the men who work with you. Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex-employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind aren't usually believers of myth. Not the monster. The man! You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is... If you'll follow me, Alexios... Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm Elpinor of Kira. How do I know your name? I did what you did. I asked and people told me. 
Tell me who sent you. An inquisitive nature. Good. That will help. You know more than you let on. Knowing you is in my best interest. And knowing me is in yours. My prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca. Penelope's woven shroud. I need you to steal it back. The shroud of Penelope? The wife of Odysseus. You're joking! A piece of it, yes. Impossible! If it existed, it would be priceless. Which is why I want it back. Ithaca's not a small island. I need more information. I'd start at the home of Odysseus. Well, what's left of it? An inspiring tale. A reunion of past lovers. All right. I'll do it. Don't expect it to be easy. That's why it will cost you. Then it's agreed. There's a rowboat in the harbor. Use it. It's not meant for open water, so be wise. When you have the shroud, meet me in the Temple of Zeus. I will. Oh, and Mystius, don't fail. Head into the house of Odysseus on a tiny boat. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we? All the years I've lived on Kefalonia, I never realized the mighty Odysseus's palace was here. Thank 
you. Let's get out of here. Can you fight? I'd be happy to. My thanks. I can't believe I let those Malakes sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. <sighs> You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Alexios? I'm Odessa. Named after the great Odysseus. Why would you want to go up there? I am a descendant of Odysseus. I'm on a pilgrimage. You're a descendant of the former king of Ithaca. And the man who created the Trojan horse and defeated the Cyclops? The one who traveled to the land of the Lotus Eaters? The one the Odyssey is about? Yes, I am. Why? You're not the first who said that, is all. Well, I trust I don't need to prove my lineage to get up to the palace. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. The legendary shroud. Elpinor wasn't lying. how you lost them. Yes, yes, don't worry. You are mine! Penelope Shroud, in the flesh. Uh, I mean cloth. Rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here I might understand him more. Well, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there.
Well, this is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there. Ruled there. He ended the Trojan War. Eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. If you keep trying, you'll get there. Giving up guarantees you never will. You're the first one to encourage me like that. Just know, it's your decision to make. Greatness is what I seek. It's what I've desired my entire life. I refuse to end up like everyone around me, content to go about their daily lives until they're forgotten in death. If you want Odysseus' greatness, you have to do it your own way. He was famous because of his cunning. What have you done? I've traveled all the way here. To see the ruins of Odysseus' life, not to live your own. I should know better than to take advice from a mercenary. Leave me.
I hear the spots of the
I should be extra careful in this area. Μάλλον αυτό δύστιμη, λέγονε με αυτό. Αλέξιος, good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Mistheus. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistheus. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. 
Generals bleed like anyone else. Good. What do you say? Who is this general? They call him the Wolf. He do something to offend you? Yes, he's costing me Drachmi. He's not good for business. Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is their own. Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? Of course. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Fokis. Hmm. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. It's a fine ship, Telemenes. Alexios! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. I really need a boat, Telemenes. Everyone in Kafalonia needs a boat. Four passage on one. You've seen this shit hole. All my life. Even if I had a boat, who's going to row it? You! <laughs> I'd give my left grave to see that! This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telemenes. Not sure if this helps, but rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Malaka. How is that helpful? That monster's held Kefalonia captive for too long. I figure if anyone could finally rid us of his stance, it would be you. Telemenes, what does this have to do with my need for a boat? Rumor also has it the Cyclops has docked his ship in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. Take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. Τι? Πού δεν 
Come on! Easy now.
Ranger won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. Ah, Mistios, you must help me. Must I? If you know what's good for you and your pair should take pause. I'm listening. I'm an exile from Athens. Though by looking at me, I'm sure that's impossible to believe. A successful exile, at least. Who should offer enough to keep me interested. You have a good eye. What's the problem? It's my brother Ornios. He's been captured by bandits. We were attacked when our ship landed. They must have smelled our wealth from across the water. I managed to escape, but he's stuck in a cage on a dock like a beast. And you want me to rescue him? Bring him to me with not a hair on his head disturbed and I'll pay you well. So someone in Athens wanted you out? Many someones, actually. Ostracized for the same thing, Ornios and I. Fraud, they called it. But that's life, isn't it? You're used to that, aren't you, Mistios? What? A mercenary's life isn't an honest one, of course. But don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. I'd watch your tongue, old man. I'll rescue your brother. For a price. Yes, yes, of course. Drachmi is the only language you Kefalonians understand. I'm not Kefalonian.
the Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. as my witness, I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? <laughs> all of them, I swear, all of them! I have never heard so much fucking God talk from one man in all my days. <gasps> Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Did it hurt your feelings? Don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I, uh, but you're so fat. I mean, big, strong. You really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? Get it. like these have friends on Kefalonia. By Zeus! These Kefalonian bandits are no joke! Good this thing you're on my nice side! Village. They really but now it's just feel. a nest of anarchy and crime.
can't thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Alexios, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. All of Kefalonia heard your prayers. I just happened to be closest. <laughs> and you just happen to fight like Achilles while Zeus's eagle flies around your head. Where do you come from? Everywhere, nowhere. The Adrestia is my home. But I was born in an olive grove in Mykonos. I haven't stepped foot there since I left for the military. So you're a soldier? I was. My brothers and I were captains in the Athenian fleet. Until one night during a siege, Poseidon's fury destroyed our ships. That was the night I saw it. It? What did you see? The sea god commands more than just the winds and the waves when he truly unleashes his temper. I saw his beast, his murderous pet. Few believe me, but this dead eye is a permanent reminder. Punishment for looking on Poseidon's forbidden creature and living to tell the tale. So why were those men attacking you? Oh, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot. Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. So, you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. Where is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Perhaps the fates brought us together after all. I'm in need of a ship and a crew. <laughs> you saved my life! It would disgust the gods to not offer it in return. So, that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia! to be careful not to get spotted. Release me! I'm not an animal! I was a dead man. How dare they lay their filthy hands on me? You, here, yeah, drag me for your efforts. Although you would have arrived sooner. Your brother sent me. Oh, I knew he'd rescue me. Oh, and how quickly he's found himself lucky. To be clear, I'm the one rescuing you. And if it wasn't for your brother's money, I'd gladly feed you to the pigs. Now let's go. Stay close and shut up. Ah. 
Ornios, reunited again. I don't know where you find these ruffians, brother, but they do get the job done. This is touching. But you owe me drachmi. You proved yourself useful. Get yourself something nice. I should watch my step around here.
We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Alexios. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Phoebe, you're not old enough. I can't look after you all the time. I can look after myself. I don't need anyone to help me. Even if that were true, it's not your time. But there wouldn't be any trouble. Promise. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mother gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. Phoebe, I'm never coming back. What do you mean? Someone's counting on me to do something very dangerous. And there's a new future in it for me if I succeed. I won't see you ever again? I don't know. Until we do, you just have to keep yourself safe. I will. Alexios! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. <sighs> All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Alexios? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Alexios want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen. Please, she'll do no harm. She'll help us. She will lead us. Silence! Oh! 
Nicolás! Nicolás, look at me! Look at me, Nicolás! Don't! Don't listen! Your blood is tainted! Rid yourself of this poison! Mother! Sparta! Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right, there. Let's get moving. Let's see how the sails have held up. Nice to have you back, Commander! Master! Keep up the speed! We spotted some salvage! I'm getting it. I know. 
lost a couple good men in the scrap with those pirates. The seas are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard and I'll talk him into it. A little Drachmi should sweeten the deal. So you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine. I promise you. Send Icarus up to get the lay of the land. He'll spot my target. That's my target. I offer freedom and drag to everyone on my crew, including you. You'll make a worthy addition to the crew. Asset to the crew. Will he be enough? Don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunities to recruit more people as we go. Something tells me we're going to need them. We should set a course for Megaris. A long voyage can be relaxing, but we are not really the cruising type. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything I hear that could be of interest to a daring captain.
Commander on board! Dogs! <laughs> 
Sails up! 